Hey, I don't want to brag, but I will. <laughs> hey, the, the recommended stocks are jumping at the bandizzle and have been. Uh, today marks the 13th consecutive day. Our sweet test to play. Guys, we're making money. We're getting honeys. So we can get a little bit more funny and throw a couple thoughts on the yacht. Now, Gabe, before we get down to anything, someone get the thing to me. Yes, sir. All right, all right, let's get down. Let's get down to it. Um, people, uh, first, uh, we have a, um, some emotional responses to uh, Lou versus Wall Street. I guess people, you know, hey, I, I, you know, to each their own flow. Yeah, hey, I don't got too many problems with old Lou. Um, but guys, that's the irrelevant portion of it, guys. If there's a true statement, like I mentioned in the comments, I don't care if it came from uh, Liz's orange hair. I don't care if it was a wig that just scrolled up to me and said, if there's a fact or there's a truth. We're going to report on, we're going to bring that into our analyzation so we know what's going on. We can make a full story. Hey, we're not doing the emotional trading thing over, guys. We're trying to get rich. You know, that's that's so 2020, 2021. We're like 2023 right now. We're supposed to be evolved. Uh, let's stick to the whole culture here of, of keeping things unemotional. Uh, we're coming with real information, real facts, real, uh, it, it, you know, if you, if you don't agree with some, hey, say, I don't agree with this. Don't, oh, you said, Lou, I, I'm mad. All right. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, before we tap down, guys, we're going to do a little coverage on our AMC. Uh, of course, our sweet test to play. Uh, and uh, possible things y'all want to keep on in the future. Before we get into that, we're going to watch a sweet little zesty video of uh, basically the reports where they're basically saying the markets are doing better than they expect, which, again, this is all leaning just off the tech factor. And AI is expanding. As I mentioned, things are getting, what would we say, this is a doozy now. Things are getting exciting. Um, of course, we have to watch out for tomorrow. I'm just not going to, I don't want to be uh, caught with the old banana and tailpipe trick. So I'm not getting too excited. Obviously, things are shooting up. We'll go over that. But uh, let's tap down into this bad boy, guys. Yes, right sir. Now to the floor show, we've got traders Gary Kalpom and T3 Trading Chief Strategist Scott Redler. Scott, suddenly the markets look unstoppable. How long does this rally run? That's the big question, right? Especially when you go into a major event like the FOMC tomorrow. Yeah. You know, we talked before about how we're 20% off the low. I, I thought I had seen an article about, um, I still haven't heard Jerome Powell say anything about, you know, halts or anything like this, pause. A lot of that is adjusting to the market. There's still the expectation that a hike come through and cause some damage to our markets. But right now, I'm still seeing the amount of FOMO, heat, and like, power behind these moves in ai i'm telling you tech tech a little bit of tech tech with your tech and tech and you'll be all right your, your money is going to glide you need to have your money on the back of some of this tech sector guys but uh let's get back definitely lows in the s p the nasdaq's been you know roaring and leading the way the rally started in march though people talk about the, the october lows and march when we ignited and now as we're up like you said in some stocks 12 13 days into a big event active traders like me get a little cautious doesn't mean it's over. It just means that we might get a little volatility tomorrow ahead of the FOMC. Well, let's okay. show some of the longer-term S&P oh, pictures. Yeah. Gary, the S&P looks unbelievably strong, considering that it was as recently as late fall that we were in the middle, as you know, of a bear it's, market, the bear market the low. And hit. here we are, out of the bear 37. market. And what do we have? It is incredible that we see we finally exited the bear market. Yesterday, big move in the now in the S and P again here. But tech, tech has been the leader. What are you looking at here, and and how long does this quote suddenly unstoppable market continue to rally? Well, as I have told you, the only thing I was owning was big tech. It was the only re only thing I needed to own until June. Y'all listen to this big money. Just listen to the big money. How that money's moving around. In second. Uh, that's when but now don't forget they were fudding their pants off about a month ago when everything was the cheapest dirt.
Markets are it's still up. cheap, but hey, we up it was almost is 1x this whole move to 2X. higher. And finally, energy and transports and economically sensitive and everything like that, um, caterpillar types under the sun are getting going, and that's what's fueling more of this. How long it lasts, how far it goes, beats the heck out of me. All I can tell you, I think we have more to go. Uh, I, I, this is just very good action as I scan 1,500 to 2,000 names every night. Uh, just a lot of stocks are turning up here uh, that were dead money. So I think there's more. The only thing I would tell you, and I think Scott's right, uh, short term, uh, there's some names in the trees. And when I mean trees, I mean redwoods. Uh, they've gone pretty much vertical. So I would suspect we're going to get some rest or some pullback here on yeah. some of these names. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, going farther out, I think we're in pretty darn good shape in spite of all the economic news, notwithstanding the job numbers, I'm deep uh, which is quite the amazing. Okay. Here's been quite the amazing. NVIDIA. Folks, I need to tell you that NVIDIA's market cap is now above A one trillion, trillion dollars. Above one trillion. Needs to close there. We haven't seen that before, but Scott, that would be the first semiconductor company to hit a trillion dollar market cap. People thought that it had. Hey, 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 hey. It's money, Montgomery. We going green. Yachts on yachts. That's what we're doing over here. Let's not get in as confused, people. This whole channel is about making money and retail linking up to make more money. We on point with these calls. I'm telling you that I've been making these recommendations from Jump Street, so nobody come in. Oh, you're saying I've been a hey, I've been doing this for months, screaming this now. Run up too quickly, and here it is again, seeing another 3.6 percent jump. Is this getting too toppy, or do you you don't want to fight the tape, do you? Well, you don't want to fight the tape at all. They say the trend is your friend for a reason, mm -hmm. and Nvidia has led the way in tech. Traders have been watching Nvidia. Traders have been long Nvidia. It's been one of the best acting stocks this year. And I remember seventy-eight percent in three months got on to Nvidia. One trillion, and they thought it could volatility is here for these big names as well. The whole uh, day of big names not being able to grow. This market is filled with retail now. Couldn't be sustained. Volatility. And where's Apple at three trillion? Not saying NVIDIA is going to get there, but everyone wants to doubt success. And right now, NVIDIA is having success. AI will be here for the, for the next decade, and they're leading the way. So I don't think you just sell it because it's at a milestone. I think you embrace it and look for other names that could follow suit. Well, how about AMD? Guys, we're looking at AMD. Earlier, mm -hmm. it hit a 52-week high, up about $132.80. It has pulled back from there, I've got Gary. news on that as well. And the big news there is that AMD's chips, these, these cloud chips, are going oh, to well. be helping Meta achieve some of the AI ambitions that they have. So I, I don't know why it's pulling back now. Um, Let's see. I'm, I'm looking for any news. Well, Liz, sometimes so. they sell an event. It, you know, oh, Wall, Street's right. very, yeah. Wall Street's very cute. They did that with the Apple event, if you mm -hmm. remember. They sold it at all-time highs, and then three yeah. days later, it started its rally again. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they sell the news. Go ahead, Gary. If it's pulling back, it's only because it's been a moonshot over the last two, three weeks, and, mm -hmm. and that's normal. Now, I, I own NVIDIA, and just a, a way, a, one of my Same. rules, the bigger the gap because of the bigger surprise in earnings and sales growth, Usually it means it's the start of a move, not the end of a move. And that gap on NVIDIA was gargantuan. Their beat on sales, gargantuan. Yes. And notwithstanding the market Say it uh, again. croaking again. Gargantuan. Come I on now. It, uh, leads the way going <laughs> forward. And uh, again, the semiconductors, one of my other rules is follow the semiconductors. They lead markets up and down. And right now, uh, en fuego is the best way I can explain it. En fuego. Uh, Scott? You've got Mike Wilson over at Morgan Stanley waiting. He's probably saying, please, can the, the S&P go down to 32 or 3,300, which is what his call has been. We're getting further and further away from that. Do you see a return to those lows? No, I've been trying to have my traders not focus on analysts like Mike Wilson. He was right a year or two ago. He had a good call. But once you make a call and you stick to it, you could blow traders up. You have to let the market make the mm -hmm. call for you. So right now, the market's been trending. It's been strong. Watch the A in 21 day. I'd rather watch that in the S&P cash than worry about Microsoft. whether Mike Wilson was going to quadruple down e. on a call instead of admitting that he might have been wrong. When traders are wrong, you get stopped out. You don't get louder because that gets people in trouble. That, right, right. Don't double down, that, right, Gary? That is why Scott is one of the most brilliant people on the street. He yes. pays attention to that's price and the market, not opinion. <laughs> and that's the most important thing. Well, true, Gary. And right now, I don't know if we can take the live shot outside of the federal courthouse in Miami, but uh, it's really important. And Charles Payne is the original guy who constantly says this. 
do not invest around your politics mm -hmm. because you will lose money. Right now we do have <laughs> the media crowd, international, national, local, clogging the area around this. And keyword, in other words, don't be an emotional investor. That's the, uh, what that means. Courthouse President Trump Politics has makes just people emotional. pled not just guilty Just like we had a couple people emotional in the comments by Lou. ...of uh, federal charges. Yeah, yes. Among yes. them, all kinds of issues regarding the right Espionage down. Act. It's all right. Look We're making money over here. courthouse right now. We're figuring things out. Shot, We're evolving. There are some both supporters and people against the former president standing by. Uh, this is, of course, as we look, continue to watch it. Fox Business reporter Ashley Webster is there right now. We're about to check on with him in just a moment. So in the meantime, inflation is cooling. Job market's still strong. Where's the recession? Scott and Gary, thank you. I know you're both, I know you're both saying, still yeah, where is recession. this long called for recession? Still in the recession, but hey, hey, nonetheless, they you know they ain't gonna admit nothing about that. Guys, listen, let's double tap in and get this info down. Uh, um, pulling in when we're looking at our AMC stock, as we mentioned in the last previous video, even on Sunday, I could tell by how the price move was moving that we're gonna have a continuation of this price. Now, breaking of that five, that five sixteen is gonna send us back up. Like I said, we can easily make that climb to five thirty, uh, six, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm telling you, by just by the way this price action has been going, same for those similar days where things were uh, uh, popping in uh, right before close and then opening up and they were trying to shoot it down and it was still shooting up right before close. I could tell on this ascension, this right here, this pressure is ha having to be let out. Keep your eyes peeled on it. Watch out for tomorrow. Tomorrow can cause a little volatility or it could send this thing to the A. It could send the markets to the... the um, well, I guess we just call it the moon. They send it to outer space. Like I said, everything's kind of lined up. AMC is correlating with this as well, which is just funny how they like to have AMC move with the market, um, which, like I said, we kind of went over that where we're saying that would explain how AMC, which is supposed to move inverse with the market, moves with the market as if they're taking uh, AMC buy orders and buying other stocks with it. Of course, they're going to correlate and move with each other, right? But nonetheless, uh, double tapping in. Coming up to AMC short inches <clears throat> with 22.62%. They need to go ahead and just fling it back up to that 25% or 30%. At least make it tickle our fans because we know it's past 100%, 200% short interest uh, as for what they're pouring. Still sitting at 8.29 uh, days to cover. I think it was like 8.30 the day before. All of that is relevant. That has nothing to do with anything. Our key focal point, unless more ass happens, which again, guys, as, as was mentioned in the last video, in the video before that, Hey, you know, history might not repeat itself, but it does rhyme. And like I said, <coughs> with us dealing with algos, this is the same. I got some. <coughs> One second. Oh, wow. No water either. Why? All right. But um, history doesn't repeat itself, but it always does rhyme. And with this being algos, this would be funny how, you know, we've had talks about a mid-June run-up. We're seeing all this tighten up as we're moving into uh, till those final days before our uh, AMC hearing. It would be prime time for stock movement as far as how much they've been compressed. Like I said, two weeks ago, the amount of shorting they did was astonishing. And it had to be off the fact that they knew that there was going to be a pop in near time. Were they trying to push it down? Are we going to have a positive run through to the 29th? We don't know, but I do know one thing. I know as of right now, the way this thing's shaped out, we got some growth. We can expect growth tomorrow. We can expect, I mean, we'll, we'll just go day by day, but at, even how it is up here, we had a pop up at 515, same similar how we having these big pops up before. Just around, I do a cup of handle and send that thing back up. And you can already see it starting to cup now. Still finished well above where it opened up before. So like I said, I'm seeing a lot of FOMO kind of picking back up. We're getting a little bit of bullish momentum in this bad boy. Let her ride, let her ride. Don't get your panties in a twist. We're gonna let her ride, but like I said, I'm feeling bullish about the whole thing. Double tapping in to our sweet baby, Tesslinian. I told these folks, I told these folks, we hit 261 a day. Uh, uh, let's pull this out here. I want to go in the just so y'all can see how we've been moving on in, in the last couple of days. 526, you could have got it at 181. This month, start. 
You could have got it at 212. Now we're sitting up at 261, guys. AI is here. Electric. And like I said, this is why Tesla's S tier because you're getting exposure to AI. Uh, electric. EV. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, what's, what's the word they use? Energy. This is a bangaroonie. And like I said, a lot of people keep, oh, are you telling us to sell? Nobody's telling you guys. You can hold your AMC as long as you want to. What I'm telling you is this, is that if you don't, if I don't care if you are all in the Tesla, right? What I'm saying is you should not have all your money plugged up into anything to where you can't capitalize the move, especially if you're not sitting in what, in my opinion, is going to be the greatest generational wealth grow, which is the tech sector. This innovation, like I said, these are just opinions. If you don't pick it up, it's cool. If you do pick it up, cool. But what we're trying to do over here is we're trying to bolster a stronger, uh, more wealthy retail community. So like I said, we're calling that banger, banger play. Path. Could have got that at 15. Hit 17. Is it 16? 1602. Uh, so far. So far, uh, uh, another 5% after 40% run up. Who else do we have? Oh, AMD. I don't know. I don't know why AMD is actually red. They actually got some good news. But nonetheless, they're up high. What is this over here? The low was 107. Sitting at one. They hit a high today of one. Is that today? That was in pre market. What's going on here? But hit a high. Uh, is that an all time high? Wow. Well, so, wow. We're to mark that out. So the all-time high on AMD was 164, and it hit one, 133. Okay, we might, we might have a little something interesting watching this AMD, but like I said, I know why this is all coming along. Let's double tap down here. Guys, uh, EV charge equipment maker Blink. I don't know if y'all remember this was a company uh, that was out that our retail kind of uh, did a little bit of swing trading with as well. Blink charging, which they're going to be making the charge. They also have a way to do quick change uh, on the batteries as well. But charging said on Monday they will launch their new fast charger with Tesla's connector as an industry move away from the standard CCS connector. Guys, now what I'm pulling all this up here for is the simple fact that. Tesla has now put the triple arm fold arm leg bar around this whole sector as far as EV. I'm going to keep screaming. I'm going to keep screaming it again. Tesla, NVIDIA, XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Microsoft, Apple, uh, 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 SoFi, Path, AMD. Guys, and also, they've also come out with this over here. So double check this. We've got uh, news with more than 185,000 EV charge reports sold in U.S. Uh, Canada date. In, uh, I don't know say, NLX Way today announced plans to adopt Tesla's North America charging standard as a connect option for level two and three charging stations. So now, guys, this is like literally becoming a global thing. Ford and, uh, was it General Motors just opted to say they're about to have the adaptive report to be able to use Tesla chargers. Guys, money, 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 money is, is, is boiling through here. But something big with AMD. Today, AI news from AMD should be seen as good for the market and AMD. There could only be one winner of the GPUs. If there is, everyone but NVIDIA loses. Uh, competition is critical. To a, you heard everyone but NVIDIA loses because remember they create. Uh, competition is critical to healthy innovation ecosystem. So basically, AMD reveals its new AI chip challenging NVIDIA's dominance. Guys, NVIDIA, Tesla, XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, 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 Apple, Netflix, Amazon, um, Path. Hey, these are bang. Hey, guys, we keep calling them out. These are banger la danger la dangers. My money's growing long. My money woke me up. Hey, hey, wake up. I, I looked up. I said, "Oh, money, how you doing?" Listen, guys, if your money's not working as hard as you're if, as you're working, then you have a situation. That's all we're coming down to, guys. But like I said, guys, I have some 
uh, uh, like I said, bullish expectations for this week coming, which is crazy to say that we're heading into a Fed meeting. Uh, they could try to hit the old banana tailpipe, but I just want to see if this tech glides through even that Fed, you know, if Fed were to do a hike, if they already priced that into the market and it continues right. If you see that, guys, they're going to do it. The, the tech sector is going to do it with Tootsie. And if you don't know what Tootsie is, you need to Google it because neither do I. Listen, guys, much love to y'all. Much support. We, hey, we've grown. We keep growing. Uh, 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 we're on the chase down to 900 for, for the greater goal of 1,000, guys. Much love to y'all. Y'all know I love y'all boys to death. Hey, we're cashing it up. We're getting better. We're getting smarter. Uh, we're coming to what might not even be the full close. But like I said, I want people to understand that even when July 29th comes, I'm not the type of person who be like, I'm never going to talk about AMC again. If AMC brings some heat or if there's something that's going on, we're going to bring that into, you know, you know, there'll always be a space for that. But like I said, I'm ready for a chapter to be closing up because like I said, there's a bunch of opportunity with similar plays just like this. Like I said, Retail has a bunch of uh, plays that we have left over GTII, COS, and things like that. But I really want to see if retail moves differently with these plays. That's what I'm looking at double check in. But like I said, always having our long term portfolio in the back, making generational wealth over generational wealth, and then 10 to 20% in the game portfolio to try to figure out, play, and make money off the markets, which is fun as part of it. But it keeps you safe because we don't, you don't want your whole account to be blown up. I didn't done that on some accounts. It's not fun. You don't want to count your chickens before they hatch. Don't count your eggs before they hatch. That's all we leave it at. But guys, y'all already know what time it is. Yes, sir.